Queer Mora YouTube. Grab a cup of coffee and sit back. And I almost forgot the words to my intro. We are back with Doki Doki Literature Club, back to school, back in class. And we are l l starting directly where we left off last time with Monica being Deadpool and breaking the fourth wall. So let's get this started. I am excited for this episode, I don't know why. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we could put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Where's the Yuri in all of this? We won't need more much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Oh. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Uh, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. What? What are we performing? Performing? Puh. Um, Monica? Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. That's actually not a bad idea. Each of us is going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let everyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayor is putting it all putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Sayori, who's been colouring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh well I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I... I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys? No, Sayori. I under- whoops. <laughs> Why is everyone's voices so wrong? No, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple of days ago. It's a loss to ask of them to recite their poems out loud to the whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. Yes, yes you did. So I'm sorry. But... I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do, to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know I do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, that's actually not too long. Then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. 
I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh... Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. That's a spirit. Alright. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectate expectant faces. <sighs> I I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No way. Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? That's a valid point. Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. Then she stands behind the podium. The title of the poem is The Way They Fly. <coughs> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is, he sh is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finish her, finishes her recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That that was good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I, I, I'll go next. A what? Yuri's fired up all of a sudden? Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glass glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure and she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into the reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and I give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud to her, but we were caught so off guard <laughs> that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. 
Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. Uh, ah uh, ha ha. Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting in front of people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it will come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice has made, was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is, is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I wouldn't probably wouldn't think much about it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it. Good job, Sayori. <laughs> Even then, the drummer liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh. I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that ch challenges you a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> Don't make me go before Dan the drummer. It's not like I could compare to you guys anyway. I might as well let Dan the drummer lower everyone's standards as little before I have to do it. That's rude. Natsuki? It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection I want to read. I'll just have to go over what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel ter terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I'm finished, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Ah, because you're presenting. Oh. Anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting her poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's a little, while she's still a little in, enthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You'd better not make me do that again. Uh, well... Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I could put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, 
It's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so. Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. I might. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have the idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. What? I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. That's like a trademark speech. Okay, everyone. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday is the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If this is for the sake of the club. And impressing Monica is not what you want to do, Dan the drummer. She's not your goal. Then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Dan the drummer. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Then I would definitely say yes. Huh? What would you do? I would say yes. What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well... I would walk home with Yuri. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> you admitted it. Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? What do you mean by that? Need you? Sayori. I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm. <laughs> if you say so. The conversation trails off, and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. You're just trying to be neutral. That's all you're trying to do. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. 
who knows what will happen in that time. Okay, guys. Um, just before we write the poem, I'll start the next episode with writing the poem. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you want to become a citizen of Rhythm City, please subscribe. And as always, guys, remember, keep the rhythm. Sorry, this is a shorter episode, but uh, as you could probably hear during the episode, I quite fumbled a bit. That's because I only woke up like three hours ago. And so, and I quickly needed to record this video. So, yeah, it's not the best video. It's like the poem this guy's, the poem these guys write. It's not as good you know my character doesn't write that good poems but anyway uh if you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you want to become a citizen of rhythm city please subscribe and as always guys remember keep the rhythm <laughs>